This might be the biggest mess I've ever done in my entire life. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Hearts of Iron. I have for you today a mess of mods, and this is probably, the one that you're listening to is the one that actually works. So there were probably more mods, and I had to get rid of them. <coughs> <coughs> but I have for you some of the best mods, the greatest mods. It's going to be huge. I have for you the Duck Republic. So the... T the duck invasion of Europe, everybody. I have for you... Toast Stalin. <laughs> it doesn't do anything. It just makes it just makes Joseph Stalin into a piece of bread. Toasted bread. Which I think is actually semi-fucking ironic. Um, all things considered. I mean, what was he famous for? You know, not really feeding his people. I also have... Uh, apparently not the hurricane mod. Apparently that's broken. Apparently nobody, nobody owns Cuba. Um, it doesn't exist. Uh, I had the hurricane mod on. Uh, apparently, not. Appa apparently, the hurricane mod is not interested in showing up to the party, so it's just not there. Um, I wonder if it'll take like Texas and then like, like through its focus tree. It's literally just not fucking there. That's very strange. I don't really know what's going on. Like, Cuba exists, but there's nobody- there's nobody on it. I can't click to view the state, there's nobody there. <laughs> what the fuck? Okay, whatever. I have the Duck Republic, at the very least. Uh, I have Bad AI on the base game and Always War. So I'm kind of curious, because I haven't really seen- I've seen, you know, so certain people have been doing Bad AI, uh, and, and trying that out. Uh, a little bit. Uh, for example, if you really want to see an interesting series, go over to Jackson's channel, Calm Down, Level Up. He does, uh, he recently did, I don't know if it's done or not, uh, a couple of videos with Bad AI and Road to 56, uh, which is pretty, uh, pretty sweet-ass mod, if you, uh, if you ask me. So he, uh, he's got that one, uh, going on. And I kind of wanted to see what would happen if we combined Bad AI, Ducks, and the Always War mod. Uh, how th would things play out even more differently uh, than before, considering that, like, everybody's just at war with everybody else right off the get-go? Would that uh, change things up, realistically? So, I'm curious to see how Always War and Bad AI basically play together. Uh, I want to know how well they complement each other, and if they do complement each other nicely or not. So, that's, that's kind of my, uh, semi-experiment, and I threw in the ducks and potentially the hurricane mod, but didn't show up to the party, uh, just, just to shake things up a little bit. Because I'm curious to see what the Duck Republic is going to do, um, just on its own in AI. So, uh, yeah, uh, I'm gonna unpause it here, and everybody's going to go to war with everybody else. Also, I haven't disabled factions, so the Axis and Allies still exist, and I think that's it. Uh, for factions, yeah, that's it for right on the, uh, the Duck Republic, just declare war on everybody. My question is, can the Duck Republic survive? Also, did the Ducks just join a faction? I swear to god, I just saw the Ducks joining a faction. They joined the freaking allies! <laughs> Wait! Did the Ducks really just do that? Oh my god, the Ducks are part of the allies. Guys, Ducks are on the side of the Brits. I think this is a good sign for Britain. All things considered. Though the ducks are at war with, well, literally everybody around them except for France. So it's kind of like, will France come to their rescue uh, while they try to uh, try to build up, you know, before they get just absolutely friggin' slaughtered. The Soviets are wasting absolutely no goddamn time invading Poland. I guess they just really, really don't want to share with the Germans. Uh, can't blame them. They're also uh, apparently marching into Estonia. Uh, they're very interested in that whole Baltic thing going on, and the Winter War is already happening, and it's probably not going to end favorably for the Finns this time, overall. Also, I think, yeah, that's what I thought. So Norway is also invading Finland. Um, so Finland's just screwed. Norway apparently has no idea how war works, which is fairly, um, yeah. I, I guess you could have figured that one out. Because they just sent one horse into the middle of the frigging northern forests of Sweden. Like, literally in the middle of goddamn nowhere. They could have very easily just walked into Stockholm. 
Like, yeah, they could have. They probably could have walked into freaking Stockholm. There's one guy there. He's entrenched. So they could have pretty much just walked into Stockholm. However, I do believe... Um, yeah, the Swedes are winning that fight, and they sent another unit. The uh, Norwegians, though, I think do have more units, if I'm right. Oh, no, they don't. It's just the Swedes, for some reason, are up here instead of where they probably fucking should be. Anyway, um, Europe looks interesting. Spain actually decided to join the war on the side of, um, well, not the Axis, because they're democratic right now, but, you know, once that, once that civil war eventually breaks out, it's happening soon. 41% fascist. Um, although they are with... Apparently the Spanish are working with the Italians already, so they're just kind of getting ready for that whole fascism thing. Everybody's just fucking joining everything. So the Ducks have annexed the Netherlands already. Even Okay, the Netherlands just declared war on Brazil, even though the Netherlands don't really fucking exist anymore. Seriously, where the hell did the Netherlands go, if, if not here? The Ducks are invading the Danes. It looks like they're getting no help from... France, but it looks like they've built up a, uh, a larger military. Oh, they're at war with France. So the French have not joined the Allies. They're neutral. That's interesting. In fact, the Allies have invaded France. <laughs> the Brits have landed in Normandy. Oh my goodness. Um, somebody should tell the Brits that they're a couple of years too early for that. But, uh, hey. Whatever. Um, well, apparently the Ducks are calling the Czechs in. So, hey, listen to the Ducks, eh? Uh, but the Ducks are winning against the Belgians, so... So long as the Germans don't interfere, I think they have a good damn shot at winning that. Um, I think if the Germans interfere, though, and the French actually do start to attack the Ducks, the Ducks could get screwed over. My thing is, where they're at war with... What are they currently researching? Okay, so they're about to annex Germany. Will, will that even work? They're at war with them. Will that work? It did. Okay, it worked. And the German troops have just occupied the area, which is probably bad news for the Ducks because it means the Germans are now going to enter the war um, against the Ducks instead of just having one front line. The bad thing for the Germans is now there's an opening to Berlin. So... That sucks. <laughs> if the Ducks can hold on, I think the Ducks could become a prominent power of Europe, which is... Fucking scary. Oh god, they're gonna annex the goddamn Rhineland. <laughs> they haven't even... I don't even think the, uh... The Germans have... Um... Remilitarized the the Rhineland. Yet. I don't think they have. Anti-common turn pact. ba ba, -ba. Oh no, they have. No, they haven't. Yeah, they have. They've had to. They had to have. So they've already remilitarized the Rhineland. So whatever. What does it even matter? Uh, the Ducks... Could get cut off, though, from their capital here. I don't know. It's going to be interesting to see if the Ducks can uh, actually hold their own in a very hostile Europe. Because who's at, who are they at war with? The Italians? They're at war with the Spanish? The French? Oh, they're not at war with the Spanish yet. They will be. Uh, they are at war with the Soviets, which is depending on how the Soviets do again. The Soviets are invading the Middle East pretty heavily. To be fair, who's there to stop them besides... Well, there's the Iranians, who are also communist, so, I mean, whatever. <laughs> uh, the Soviets are already in um, Saudi Arabia, though, so it's not like it matters too much. Although, I don't, I don't know. God damn, so much shit. Actually, no, the Soviets are not at war with the Iranians. I think the Soviets have already, I, I think they're a puppet. Oh shit, they are. So, the Soviets have already taken out Iran... Uh, taken out... Who the fuck are you, sir? Get back on your friggin' boat. What the hell, man? It looks like a fishing captain. <laughs> anyway, so the Soviets have already, like, absolutely destroyed the Middle East. Um, they're taking Afghanistan again. They're, they're, they're uh, trying to uh, not get embarrassed in the 80s. Instead, they're trying to get embarrassed in the 30s. So good on them. Uh, the Soviets are fighting the Japanese. Uh, they're doing actually quite well against the Japanese. Mostly because Japan's more interested probably in fighting the Chinese at this point. Um, and Mongolia. Which is fine. 
Have the Chinese developed the Chinese United Front yet? No. <laughs> the Comintern's friggin' huge, though. It's kind of concerning. My, my big thing, though, is if the Allies can manage to capitulate France and Germany pretty quickly, then they have a shot against the Comintern, but I really don't think they're going to if they can't. Um... Because that's the one thing I, sh I should have really taken the common turn out of it at least. Uh, the co the Soviets are ridiculously powerful, ridiculously powerful, and the states aren't going to do dick all. There's also another mod I want to play uh, that involves the United States actually. That's quite interesting. I will uh, I will get into that possibly next time. Uh, depends on how how this goes. Is that French land? Yes, it is. So the French. There's some troops in Lil that are completely surrounded by the ducks, although the ducks apparently are starting to lose some ground. Um, I don't have the confidence in the ducks that I once had. If they had have beaten the Belgians before going down their path uh, towards annexing everybody, they probably would have worked out for the best for them, honestly. But I think I think they've overextended themselves a little bit uh, a little bit here. And the Brits are not that much help. I mean, there's some Brits here um, occupying areas of Normandy. But are they really helping? No, not really. If the Ducks were smart, they'd take these two units here and just fire them into Paris. Take this unit here, surround Paris, and just try to take Paris out. Because um, these troops here are just going to uh, kind of stay there. You know, the Ducks, the ducks really should have just... Um, Oh, for God's sakes, you're already at war with Belgium. <laughs> the Ducks should have taken the uh, the route I took, and that would probably have worked out well for them. There's a lot of shit going on. So, they're at war. Italian-British war. I saw one of them was like the Duckish, Duckish-Belgian war. Um, to be fair, they haven't lost as many troops. I think they've lost more in this one, though. Um... 39k, yeah, see, their losses are quite higher. The field manpower is lower on, um, Annex Selected State. Oh, okay. There's just a lot of war. They're at war with a lot of people. Holy crap. Good luck to the ducks, I have to say. Good luck to the ducks. Um, Africa's pretty boring. <laughs> Portugal's getting invaded by the South Africans, although, uh, no, they're doing all right. The South Africans are doing okay with the one unit. They're holding them off, and they're invading Portuguese-controlled Angola, which is uh, pretty good. Uh, I'm waiting for... God damn it. I'm waiting for Liberia just to, you know, come out of its shell again. Because the last time we did this, they did really, really well. But uh, we'll see what happens. Uh, the United States is at war with Canada. However, they are... Uh, standing their ground at the border. Nobody's advanced. Um, except for that blip. I'm pretty sure Canada owns that little blip. Anyway, uh, nobody's advanced there. Same with Mexico. The Americans haven't advanced into Mexico yet. I don't know really what they're waiting for, but they haven't advanced. Um, which is interesting. So they're not as aggressive as they were in the Rise of Rome mod. Uh, the Latin Americans, though... Holy fuck. <laughs> uh, quite the active uh, hellhole. So El Salvador has killed Guatemala, um, which is interesting, and is trying to move into Mexico and doing so poorly. They're attacking... Is this Nicaragua? Yeah, Nicaragua. Uh, and doing okay. They're doing okay. They, I think they've... No, they haven't took taken their original... Nicaragua's original capital. Not by the looks of it. So... Yeah, Nicaragua's doing okay. Uh, Panama's dead. So Colombia has taken Panama uh, completely. They're not at war with Nicaragua, which is interesting. Uh, I don't think they're allies with them. Are they? Allies with other nations. Oh, they're in the allies. Okay, I see. And then there's a bunch of non-aggression packs. The crap ton of nations. Okay. They probably will in the future, then. Apply to declare war in the future. Ecuador is doing very poorly against Peru, who is in the Axis. Uh, poor Colombia is going to get sandwiched with two Axis nations sitting there on their on its border, especially if Ecuador decides to uh, kick the bucket. Uh, Brazil, though, is quite the power player in the region, and uh, I can see them 
you know, kind of overtaking mostly everything. Though, to be fair, Argentina's quite good at it. Uruguay is actually defending itself fairly well, which is pretty nice. Oh my god, they went nationalism focus? Wait a minute. Did they really just do that? Nationalism focus? So they're going fascist. Okay, I hope they survive long enough to go fascist. It's bad AI at work there, ladies and gentlemen. Um, oh my god, what the fuck happened in Europe when we left? Good freaking lord, what the shit. Who... Who... Who went into Vichy? Who just drove into Vichy and didn't bother taking the more important city of Leon? <laughs> what the hell? Ducks. You ducking idiots. Duck you. Ah, <laughs> oh, the fact that the ducks have not just fully capitulated is hilarious. Uh, Sweden is looking a little bit Swiss cheesy, and the fact that Finland still exists is actually hilarious. Uh, how the Soviets have not managed to just absolutely destroy Helsinki at this point. Like, seriously. Take Helsinki, you win. That's all you have to do, Soviets. Literally all you have to do is walk into Helsinki here. Be up this one guy. Just send ten guys at him. Like, who even cares about these three? Just send all of them down. Just send them down to Helsinki and take it. For God's sakes, man. It's like Estonia. They haven't even managed to take Estonia yet. Like, where the hell are all the Soviet troops? In the Middle East! That's where they freaking are. They're just all in the Middle East. Like, seriously. I mean, they're winning that battle. They're losing Helsinki to one guy with a gun. One Finnish dude. They've got a cavalry unit and they've got a... Uh, infantry unit, and they're both losing. Although, these guys are all winning against these ones, so they managed to back them into a corner. Ah, there we go. Estonia's puppeted. Are they gonna puppet Finland? I really hope not. I hate how the Soviet Union just puppets everything. They've got this weird, like, line down here, so they've capitulated everything down here, um, and they're just continually moving pretty much unopposed at this point uh, into uh, Africa. Um, they're having some issue, it seems, with Yemen. So it looks like Yemen's actually doing very well. Um, which is great, actually. I think the Yemen's in the Allies, are they not? No. No, they're not. Never mind. Um, yeah, the UK's still down here. Oh, man. Oh, man. They're, uh, they're, they're hanging on. God, God love them. Those poor sons of bitches. The Soviets, meanwhile, are pushing into British Raj, which is... Extremely bad news for the British, because that's one of their most powerful um, colonies. So that's bad. If they take British Raj, they're pretty fucked up. It's really not good. They're also uh, pushing the Japanese back pretty heftily, too. I wasn't sure if the Japanese were would be able to actually hold on and, or um, push, but apparently not. The Japanese are not doing all that great. Although they are winning some fights along here. Oh, the Jap Japanese just joined the Axis. So at the very least, they're going to have support from um, Germany, although the Germans have lost a ton of land. Um, and it looks like the ducks with guns are doing quite quite a bit of annoying damage, honestly. Uh, but the big issue, I think, is, is that the Soviets have a strong line here, um, which is going to be bad. So they're going to easily just bowl through this crap and get into Germany. Although the Germans are uh, are doing quite well. They're in Lithuania at this point. They So they have Lithuania. And Latvia's still hanging on. They're still fighting the good fight. God love them. Ah, damn. They actually did puppet them. That sucks. A democratic republic. Shut up. You don't know what democratic even is. Goddamn morons. Sweden still looks like Swiss cheese. The Norwegians just seem... The Norwegians are just incapable. Incapable. Federal Republic of Nepal. Who were they puppeted by? By whom? Oh, the Brits. Okay. Sure. <laughs> Why not? The British aren't doing anything else interesting. They've lost Dover and Portsmouth and Cornwall and Plymouth to, to the Ducks. They just kind of gave it to the Ducks, who are just doing fantastically. 
by having this god awful mess. <laughs> like, oh my god. I really, really want, um, I really wanted the hurricanes to be around. I really wanted to see what the hell would happen with a bunch of goddamn hurricanes, but apparently I'm just not going to get that luxury, which is very unfortunate, but hey, what do you do? Romania seems to have joined some conflicts. Bulgaria is really not looking that great. Um, who is really taking them, though? I mean, the the Turks are doing fairly well at taking them, but the problem is the Turks have other issues to deal with, like a massive Soviet invasion to the point where they've la lost almost half their country. And I don't know if... Well, the Greeks, they're fighting a pretty heavy war. I don't know if they'll be able to fight it all on their own. I mean, they're fighting the Yugoslavs. And the Albanians. The Albanians have almost died. I think if the Greece took these three and just surrounded Tirana, they'd be able to take it. But, eh. Yeah. And then they'd be on a just a one front with uh, Yugoslavia and Bulgaria, which they would uh, probably be able to... I don't know if they'd win it, but they'd at the very least be able to get, like, you know, partway through it. Meanwhile, Romania and Bucharest... Not doing so hot against the Soviets and the Hungarians. Sucks for them. I feel bad for the Germans. They've had so much of their land just taken from them. You know, like, by ducks, of all things, too. Like, ducks have taken all of their land. It's pretty sad. That's pretty damn sad. Also, they really need to recall this tank. You know, re reevaluate your front lines there, fellas. <laughs> oh, my. The Soviets seem to have stopped their advancement into duck-held land. I don't know why. Probably because they want to avoid direct confrontation with the... Excuse me, with the Germans. I mean, the Germans are only sending, like, an expendiary force to defend Lithuania and area. Like, they're barely ha holding on to the city. Uh, they're f the uh, former capital of, uh, of Lithuania. So, it's not like they care that much. You know what I mean? I think the Soviets, all they want back is Kaliningrad. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> They're just like, nah, give us give us back our freaking shitty-ass port city uh, that's, like, detached from us, please, and then we'll leave you alone. I'm just waiting for Sweden to fall. Honestly. Uh, they might, they probably won't. I'm not exactly sure what the hell is going on, to be honest. I really, I don't, I don't understand the Norwegian thought process. I, I don't get it. The Soviets are invading from the north. They could very easily, literally, walk into Stockholm. There's freaking nobody. There is nobody. The only, the nearest Swede troop is way in the south, and it's cut off by the Germans. Oh my god. Holy shit. Everything just happened all at once. But yeah, they, they literally walk into Stockholm, capitulate the Swedes. It would be nothing. Also, the Danes have retreated to Greenland. Good for them. <laughs> They're hanging on. God love them. God love them. Um, I don't know where the hell the uh, the Dutch went. I mean, they lost the East Indies. It's owned by the Ducks. <laughs> God. Have the Portuguese just invaded? Or... No, they haven't. It's just, it's just how it's been. Okay. Sure. Oh, the Australians are actually attempting an invasion of some sort. Canada just got pulled into some sort of war. The Canadians are still just kind of staring the Americans down at the border. The Americans could easily flood in, but apparently they're just biding their time. Like, Europe is a hot spot. The Ducks are fighting everybody. Everybody's fighting the Ducks. It's pure mayhem. There's nobody in Paris right now. <laughs> so the Ducks, do they have any troops in the northern side here? No. Even the British left. There's one unit left, but the British have left. What the hell? And the Ducks cut this area off. And I, I don't... I don't, <laughs> I don't understand. The French have just dive-bombed their way into Switzerland somehow. The Swiss are pretty pissed off about that. It's just funny, because the, the French could walk backwards into Bern right now and take it. <laughs> they could just retreat into Bern, take that, disrupt the, uh, the Swiss entirely. Like, I just don't understand what's going on. Have the, Ugo have the Uruguay, has Uruguay turned fascist yet? They are getting there. 
God love them. They're getting there. <laughs> Very freaking slowly. But they will become... How are the Soviets doing? How's, how's Toast Stalin? He's improving the railway network. Good for him. Uh, he Oh, they've also pushed back Yemen quite far. Holy shit. <laughs> Yemen is so screwed. <laughs> I feel bad, because, like, in the Rise of Roma, they were fighting back pretty admirably. Like, they had they had uh, taken Saudi Arabia, I do believe, for a short time. Um, I don't think that kept for very long, but they did take it. The Turks as well, there's kind of a stalemate on the front with the Soviets, so they've, they, it looks like they've taken that to make more pushes into Bulgaria, and they have. Holy crap, have they ever... The fighting with the Greeks appears to have stopped on the border here. Again, Greek Greece could probably invade the rest of Albania at this point and uh, take it. Are there troops trapped there? Oh shit, there is too. I mean, there's a port there, but it's interesting that they're kind of trapped there. The Turks are also fighting the Greeks. It's an interesting... Uh, Interesting war. It's like the first Balkan war, except, you know, the Turks are winning. Or the second... Yeah, the first Balkan war. Except, yeah, the Turks are winning. <laughs> and, uh... Yugoslavia wasn't uh, much of a th I don't think it was... I don't think it was a thing. I'm pretty sure it wasn't a thing at that point. I think they were still sep... I think they were separated to a degree. Different borders than the modern day, but... You know. The Ducks have, uh... Barely entered Italy... Somehow. I'm not really sure how or where they managed to try and end up there, but I don't think that was the smartest decision they ever made. Although the Ducks have uh, fully encompassed uh, Paris at this point. The French do not look like they're going to survive this. Um, there are Swiss in here, there's Czechs, there's the Duck troops themselves. Uh, I really don't think the French are going to survive this at all. <laughs> Oh hey, Portugal and Spain have decided to uh, strike up old, old feuds, and uh, and fight each other. Good for them. Oh, good job, Albania. What a great move that was. Wait, I'm sorry. Fucking do you, wait a minute. What? What? What the fuck? Really? Wait, seriously? Hold on. So the Chinese United Front consists of Greece. And China. Oh, and Portugal, apparently. What? What the hell? Oh, and Mexico! And Bolivia. Wow. What a... What a strong team. Dang. It's too bad the Chinese are gonna die at some point in the near future. The Japanese have landed in Shanghai. <laughs> the Chinese probably won't last. Well, I mean, at the same time... The Soviets are making such a hard stance push. Although the Japanese have actually pushed back because the Soviets owned pretty much to this line. And so the Japanese have actually pushed back. Well, that's interesting. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Paris is now fully surrounded, I'd like to point out. Can somebody please walk into Paris? Anybody? Check. Duck tank. Tank, duck in a tank. You want to just drive in there? I mean, the French are pretty screwed. Um, it looks like Bordeaux could fall to the Spanish at any time. So they're pretty weak. I mean, it wouldn't take much. I can't believe the Ducks pulled that off. They came back. I thought they were going to lose because they had... The French had this strip of troops. They could have walked into their capital uh, completely. Good job, by the way, Duck Republic, for warring Germany despite already being at war with Germany. Good job. The German Reich's not looking very healthy either. So, <laughs> the Soviets are looking great. Uh, I'm wondering if the Ducks Republic, uh, Switzerland, and Czechoslovakia can basically just unite Europe under the Allies. <laughs> I'm not so sure about it, mostly because of the Belgians here. I'm not really sure what the Belgians are going to do. Um, there's really not too much protection on that front. The Belgians could do a big sweep. Somebody please just walk into Paris. Please, please do that. God damn it. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna, end it. I'm gonna end it here, guys. I'm pretty tired. Um, 
I'll probably do a, a second episode on this, more or less just because I want to see the fall of France and uh, the possibility of the Duck Republic becoming a European power and fighting the Soviets. Something interesting about a piece of sentient toast fighting ducks that uh, interests me. I don't know what it is, but... Yeah. <laughs> Thank you much for watching, guys, and I will see you all next time. Peace.